back students today we are going to start with chapter 3 ms powerpoint 2007 ms powerpoint is a powerful and effective communication tool we can present our views and ideas effectively using diagrams photos clip art sounds animated special effect etc with the help of table in this we can present our information in a tabular format it helps us to organize the data effectively we can add rows and columns in a table and apply various formatting effects like different fonts shadows colors etc children we are going to learn how to insert a table in the powerpoint presentation let's see the steps one create a new presentation using the title and the content slide layout here you can see the slide layout we can select one slide from this second click insert tab select table group third in the table group click insert table the insert table dialog box will appear on the screen fourth define the number of rows and columns and click okay fifth a table will be displayed according to the defined rows and columns <clears throat> in the content portion your children you can put the number of rows and columns in this table in this picture you can see how to add the title to the table entering the data in a table we are going to see how to insert the information in the table after inserting a table in a slide follow the steps given below place the mouse pointer in the first cell of the table type heading in the first cell press the tab key the insertion point moves to the next cell type heading for the next cell using table and border tool bar there are various group present on the design tab of the table tools such as table style option word art style and draw borders every group has various tools which are helpful while formatting a table in the slide outside border is used to border to table in a variety of ways shading is used to change the color of the table border are used to change border of the table according to our requirement we can give different effect to table by effect option many table styles are displayed which we can see as a requirement now let's see the table tools option here you can select the design for the table next option of shading here you can select which type of shading you require
option of border. Here you can go to the design menu and select the type of the border. Option of effects. Which type of effect you want? You can go to the design menu. From there, go to the effect and select the effect option. Now, we are going to learn about organization chart. Organization charts are a common tool in a group activities. Let us take an example of a school. In the school, the principal is head of the school. Since the principal cannot look after each and every department of the school, he has to appoint supervisory heads for different departments such as kindergarten, primary, secondary and senior secondary. The supervisors monitor the activities of the teacher. Let us make a diagrammatic representation of the change of command. Such a representation is called an organization chart. Now we are going to learn how to insert an organization chart. We have to follow the steps for it. First, select a slide from the new slide with a title and content. Second, click the insert tab and then click the smart art button in the illustrations group. Now look at this image. Here we have selected smart art graphic in insert tab. Third, add the choose a smart art graphic dialog box. Click hierarchy in the left panel of the dialog box and then double click the first option in the middle panel option chart. Look at this image. How to select a smart art graphic then a dialog box appears. Fourth, if a type your text here, a window is displayed at the left side of the organization chart. Choose it by clicking the text pan button in the create graphic group. Fifth, with the bottom left box, select click the add shape button in the create graphic group to add more box in the chart. Look at this image. Add shape button in the creative graphic group. Thank you students. With this we end the chapter here. Stay home. Stay safe.